Hey everyone, welcome to Jump Form. My name is Kimberly, and today we're going to walk through how to track your form submissions with a Facebook Pixel. Now, if you're already using Facebook ads, you're probably familiar with what a Facebook Pixel is. If not, it is super simple. A Facebook Pixel is a snippet of JavaScript code that allows you to track your visitors' activity on your website, or in our case, in our form. It works by loading a small library of functions, which you can use anytime a site visitor takes an action on your website, or in this case, again, in our form. Tracked conversions will appear here in your Facebook Ads Manager and in the Analytics Dashboard. From there, the data you collect can go on to help you create some amazing things and allow you to get better insight into what is going on behind the scenes with your form. In order to make this work, we're going to be using a widget in JotForm, but before we do that, we need to get a very special code. So rest assured, right above me, we're going to be placing a card that's going to take you to the step-by-step how-to guide of how to do this and it's going to give you all of the links especially the one to get you here where I am right now so you can see the very first thing it asks is it wants me to connect a data source so we can either do that right here with this button or we can come back up here to this green plus button I'm just gonna go ahead and use this pretty blue connect a data source button now you can see we have four different options we can either connect a website an app offline or a CRM. For us, we're going to be using that very first option, the web. We'll click connect. And then it's asking, do we want a conversion API or do we want the Facebook pixel? And we want the Facebook pixel. I'm going to go ahead and click here and then connect. And then if you had any further questions about how a Facebook pixel works, it's going to give you some more information here. I'm going to go ahead and click continue. All right, next up, we are going to name our pixel. For this, we need to make a new pixel for each form that we create so that we can differentiate between the form's activities. Again, if you're using it for a website, you're going to want to make sure you have a different pixel for each page. So I'm going to go ahead and name it this one, JotForm Contact Form. If you've already created your form, you can paste the URL there. But right here, you can see it is optional. So we're going to go ahead and skip it for now. I'm going to click Continue. All right, over on the left-hand side, you can see it says Jot Form, Contact Form. It was created. And then this ID, it's a 15-digit ID. And this is going to be the most important thing that we're going to need to collect from here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to highlight it, and I'm going to copy that ID. Now let's head over to Jot Form. For this example, I'm just going to use a form that I already have created. I'm going to use my contact information form. I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit. And then over on the left-hand side where you can see it says Add Form Element, we have Basic payments and widgets and the Facebook pixel is under widgets. So I'm going to click on widgets and I'm going to search for Facebook. We can see the pixel shows up right there. Now over on the right hand side, the widget settings are already open and you can see Facebook pixel ID. I'm going to go ahead and paste that number in there. And then down here, these are all the events that you can track. And in that link that's going to be up in the cards, it'll show you all different ways that you can utilize this function. So for this, I want to know how many people have looked at my form. I'm going to go ahead and choose page view. And then down here, lead. Lead is when someone actually clicks that submit button. And I want to track that as well. So I think we are good. I'm going to go ahead and update the widget. Now I'm going to go up here to publish and I'm going to grab the link so we can go back over to our Facebook ads manager and give it a test. All right. So you can see right here across the top, we have overview, test events, diagnostics, history. For this, I'm going to be utilizing that test event. So I'm going to go ahead and click on test events. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see test browser events. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to paste in that form URL and click on open site. All right. So the web page opened. That should mean that we now have a view from that Facebook pixel. Let's go back. That would be considered an event. And look at that, page view processed. Now remember, we also chose the lead option, which is going to be whenever they submit the form. So let's go ahead and give that a test. I'm gonna come back over to my form. And both of these are optional, so it's gonna leave them blank. I'm gonna hit the submit button. I'm gonna come back over, and now we have a lead that was processed. And what's great is we also have the time as well. And that is pretty much it. You will officially have a working Facebook pixel for your form. And you can track any event that you want to track from your audience. And this will help you create custom audiences going forward. If you have any questions about what you saw today, be sure to put it down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time.